Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today we're going to make a bubbling cauldron. We're going to make, I made two of them in two different colors, but I've got footage for part of the purple one and part of the green one. As you can see, um, I've got my two favorite helpers, uh, Avery and Addie. Those are my granddaughters. They help a lot. Um, when I'm doing crafting and stuff, they they really get into it. They have fun. Um, anytime they're coming to Grandma's house, they're, hey, can we craft? Can we make something? We have a lot of fun. It helps give them an outlet, you know, a creative outlet, and brings the handmade, you know, into helps bring the handmade into the next generation. You can see here, I'm. Um, working on one of the cauldrons with the, the drips. I'm using hot glue to, to do the drips on it. That uh, was uh, a little bit time consuming and used a lot of hot glue, but that's okay. fighting with those glue webs. They drive me crazy. Here you can see I've got some of the drips done and I just kept taking and doing a little bit, letting it sit, set up, and then did a little bit more until I got the look I was uh, going for. Meanwhile, the granddaughters were painting little wooden pumpkins and you know from the Dollar Tree the little ornaments they were painting little wooden pumpkins and stuff and having fun while I got this part done I don't really I don't let them play with the hot glue gun yet Avery's getting about where she could um, and I could trust her to Addie she's still a little young and high strung so we keep the glue gun uh, projects to me doing, you know, using the glue gun at the moment. As I said, used a lot of hot glue. I was constantly adding glue sticks, but it's turning, it's coming together. I'm getting kind of the look that I was uh, trying to get with the drips bubbling over um, from the pot. One thing you may not know is, you know, I live in a tiny house, um, and usually I've got craft space set up in the other cabin that's on our properties here, but my son and daughter-in-law had to move in there, so I'm having to get creative um, about where I craft. It was a nice day, so me and the girls set up outside. We were out there crafting and just having a grand old time. <laughs> Fighting with webs. <laughs> Nothing worse than uh, hot glue webs. I don't like spiders and their webs and the hot glue webs feel a lot the same. <laughs> kind of looking it over to make sure I've got drips everywhere that I wanted it and see and see there were it's got all kinds of different variations you know some are longer some are shorter drips on there and at this point the girls are really bugging to start painting 
so I'm checking it to see if it's dry yet. Avery was busy painting one of my coffins uh, while she was waiting for this to be done and then I was able to hand this over to her and let her start painting on it. She's painting the purple one, Hattie painted the green one. At this point, Addie had kind of uh, given up and ran off to play, so she's got a short attention span. She loves to craft, but it's got to be short, simple, that she can quickly do and be able to run off and do her thing. She'll come over here to bug Sissy for a minute. <laughs> Here is uh, part of the assembly of the, the green one with the bubbles. I had already gotten some of it done. I had to do this in, in layers, kind of, um, where I did some of the, the bubbles on there and then painted them. Had to wait for it to dry so I could add more to it. And that's what I'm doing here is just putting, you know, getting some of the, the little bubbles. I'm using the table scatter, the round ball table scatter from Dollar Tree. I'm just taking and gluing them in different places until I got the look that I wanted and I went over and painted it after I got them all placed where I wanted them. cauldrons even though they were very time consuming they were really fun to to make and put together I had kind of a vision when I started but I wasn't sure how I was going to bring it together but it worked out I got it to look exactly like I wanted it to look use some you know different sizes of those table scatter balls um because there's think two or three sizes in the bag and then I had some of the real tiny ones too um, that I put on there just to kind of add more dimension and more you know make it look more realistic with different sizes of bubbles As you can imagine with this project um, I had a lot of the the glue webs but it was very essential to make sure that those webs were removed off of there so that it didn't you didn't see them when I painted it and here I am using pulling out some of those itty bitty teeny tiny um, ball it styrofoam balls to add to it those were fun. <laughs> I had to use my tweezers to put those on. like some of the projects that you see us make or like uh, this project please we would uh, love it if you would um, like the video subscribe to our channel hit that little bell button so you get notified every time we upload a new video and it would be great if you could share these 
We would really love it. Thank you for your support. I'm getting closer to the end. I'm almost done placing all of those. I think all in all these cauldrons probably took a couple hours each to make because I had to do in layers and you know wait for stuff to set dry all of that before I could move on to the next step. putting a bunch of the little tiny ones on there to kind of finish it off. Now I finally get to the uh, last bit of painting. <coughs> Having to don't get in there and make sure I get um, in between everything with the paintbrush as well. And I'm still finding little glue strings and webs that I had to pick off of there as I was going. As I said before, um, these cauldrons were part of two witch-themed um, tier tray sets that we have in our shop. They have um, each set has the cauldron, a witch's broom, a black cat garland, a book stack, and I think that's it. could be wrong there could be another piece but I'm missing it <laughs> Almost done with the painting. Just going through and realized that some of the, the drips had some streaks or weren't needed another coat on them, so I was take, hitting those two as I went. <clears throat> now I'm just kind of looking to see if I missed anything, any little spots, crevices in between. Thank you all for watching and 
go check us out. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little bell, and we'd appreciate it if you shared. Thank you. Have a great day.